Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome once again to another episode of the Neverland Kitchen. Woo! You excited? Today, we're doing our third episode of sauces, and we are going to do Addie's favorite Chinese food. That's right, we're going to teach everybody how to make their own sweet and sour sauce. Chicken! With sweet and sour chicken for dinner, that's right. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this, okay? So for the ingredients, what we're going to do is we're going to use a single can of crushed pineapple with the juice. We're going to use a little bit of teriyaki glaze. Normally you can use a soy sauce, but we're going to go with teriyaki glaze today just for a little bit of fun. That's right. This is the rice vinegar. And we're going to use some tomato paste. And then some water. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Slow down. We're going to use a cup of sugar cane. We're going to use sugar cane here instead of uh, white sugar or uh, granulated sugar, whatever you want to call it, because it's a little bit healthier for you. Uh, and then to thicken it, we're going to do a cornstarch slurry, which is the big objective of the day to teach everybody how to thicken sauces with a cornstarch slurry. So we've got about a third of a cup of water right here with some cornstarch, but we'll get to that in just a little bit, okay? As you can see, there's a snowman on the front. She's got a little snowman on her cup, that's right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing we want to do is we want to take our can of pineapple, all right? And what we need to do is we need to strain the juice first. Wait, what's, what's this for? We're going to use that to measure out stuff. Oh. So, so we're going to strain pineapple juice as much as possible. All the juice. And then we'll take a little bit of the pineapple because pineapple in the sauce is yummy. Ooh. Look at that, we're doing all that pineapple out. Ooh. Okay? Dying. And then we can use this for like ice cream and stuff at some other time. Or yeah. Something. Yeah. Good mix idea, it. huh? Hold on. Yep, you can mix it. All right. So then. What we want to do is, is we want to add in our other liquid ingredients, okay? So we're going to take the uh, teriyaki glaze. We're going to do that first, all right? Now I'm going to pour it, but you put it in there and you mix it, okay? okay. All right, so. Let me take this out for a minute. You're going to hold on to that? All right. So we're going to do about one ounce, uh, which is less than a fourth of a cup, okay? It's not very much. Um, we try to keep just a little bit in there. There you go, put that in. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay. There we go. And then, hold on. Yep, go ahead, stir that up. It's a little brownish. Yeah. Yeah, it's from the teriyaki. Yep. All right, now we're gonna add a fourth cup you know, of it rice looks, vinegar. It looks um, yellow in the bottle, but it's really twiny. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Mix that up. Looking good so far. All right. And now we're going to use our tomato paste. I got to open it with the can, though. Yeah. All right. With the can opener? Yep, with the can opener. Can opener. The can opener is actually easy to use, but it's hard to make. Oh, yeah? yeah? You have a problem using the can opener? So we're going to do one tablespoon of tomato paste. Can you put it in there? It will come out. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a nifty little trick. Because we use a Pampered Chef measuring spoon, you can take the separator off and you can scoop it out what? and put it in there. Magic. Magic. All right, stir that up real good, Daddy's sister. Got magic. Mommy, Daddy's got magic. It's amazing. <laughs> Need to play. Go for it. Stir it up. Slow down. Don't go too fast. I like doing fast. 
Now we've got our sauce in the pot and we're gonna let that warm up. While that's warming up, I'm gonna explain how to make slurry, all right? So here is the lesson of the day. Slurry is comprised of liquid and cornstarch, all right? Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to take the water, all right? Now you can use uh, an ingredient that is liquid that goes uh, into the mix as well. So like we could have used the pineapple juice or we could have used some of the rice vinegar. Kind of helps with the flavor, keeps some of the flavor because sometimes cornstarch slurries can dull the flavor of the sauce, all right? But we're gonna go ahead and use water because it's the most basic, easy thing everybody can use, okay? So we're gonna take a regular spoon, all right? And we're going to spoon out of the box of cornstarch A little bit of the cornstarch like this, a nice decent heaping amount of it, okay? And we're gonna put it in one third cup of water because we don't have a whole lot of sauce. And then what we're gonna do is, is we're going to mix this up. It, it will be, we done this? We have done cornstarch slurries before, yes. Yeah, um, it kind of looks like milk when it's all done, when, you, when you're all done stirring it. Yep, that's right, it does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And so, as you can see, as she just said, when you stir it up, it looks like milk, and you want it to be nice and smooth with no clumps and things like that. That way it will blend easily. Now look at that, our sauce is boiling. Beautiful, huh? All right, so we're gonna turn the heat down, all right, here's the second part of the lesson. When you're doing cornstarch slurry, your cornstarch slurry has to be cold liquid and you need to put it into the hot sauce. It can only work if you use it when this is hot and this is cold, okay? So, you are gonna stir it up for us? All right, here we go. I'm gonna slowly pour this in. <laughs> stir, stir it up. There you go, now look. As you can as you know, well, I'm gonna give you something. Don't ever drink it. Don't drink this. The cornstarch slurry? Yeah. Yeah, that would taste kind of weird. Yeah, it yep. would. Now look, if you can see it. It's kind of like. It's getting a little thick, isn't it? Yeah. Yep, it doesn't take much at all for it to get thick. All right, let me see how, let me see how thick we're, we're talking here. Not quite there yet, so we're gonna pour a little bit more in. Go ahead, stir it up. Go slow so you don't splatter it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put a little bit more in. And basically what you're doing is you're just adding a little bit of slurry to it at a time until it gets to the thickness that you want. Because once it gets to a certain thickness when it's warm, it'll get thicker as it cools down. So you want to kind of have it, like when you're doing a sauce like this, you want it warm, right? We want a nice warm sweet and sour sauce. Well, at school we got to make two things at school for projects. Oh yeah? What did you do at school? So first, we made hot chocolate. Hot chocolate? Yep. It involved some water. Uh-huh. Uh, we, she took a, a cock pot. We usually make it as like in the microwave, don't we? Yeah? Yeah. And then we took like a bag of hot chocolate mix and we pulled the whole thing in there because there was a whole bunch of classes. Oh my goodness. There was a whole bunch of class. A whole class. Your whole class? Yeah. Wow, everybody? 20, yeah, there's like, there was 25 people in there but minus one, which went to a different school, was 24. So we actually had 24, and we had a bunch of sugar. All right. Okay, so now that our sauce is thick, we're gonna add in sugar. The sugar. Yay, sugar. You gonna stir it up? Yeah. Okay. So now that we're adding in the sugar, we're gonna let that coat and melt down. Ooh, it's smelling good. I know, it does smell good, doesn't it? Yep. See, 
see all the steam right here? Mm -hmm, I do. It means it's nice and hot. Yep. Let's turn this up to the light a little bit so people can see. Look at that. It, it, it has steam right here, see it? Yep. Okay, you ready to put this together? So what we have on this plate right here is a rice pilaf. It's kind of like a fried rice, but it's not real dry. It's a little bit more sticky. Just because I thought it would be yummy. Okay, so what we did was we made some homemade fried rice. We put it there in the middle, okay? Yep. All right, look here. Sweet and sour chicken. No, can you see that tag right here? Yeah, you made me a little badge. I'm wearing it on my shirt, but you can't see it because it's not the camera. <laughs> ha ha ha. I taped it to his shirt. Yep. So we're going to do this little cute little circle here with our chicken. What? Look at that. So cute. I know, right? And then we're going to take our sauce and we're going to put it over the top of our chicken. Yummy. See, we're just gonna spoon it on, and it's got the chunks of pineapple. Ooh. I know, right? And we make this look all pretty like this. And then we can even take a couple of the chunks and put it over the top of the rice like this. Ooh, yeah. And then we take a little bit of the teriyaki glaze. Check this out. I know, right? So it, it, it looks like syrup, but it's really teriyaki sauce. Yeah, it is. And then, teriyaki and then sauce. this is the pig cake. This whole thing is the pig cake. And you put the teriyaki sauce on it. Teriyaki sauce on pancakes? No. <laughs> so we've got our rice peel off here that is uh, based off of a fried rice recipe with a little bit of the sweet and sour sauce. Look, we got the sweet and sour sauce all the way around that chicken. Doesn't that look good? Yeah? All right. So. That is our dinner for the evening. Yay! We have to taste it. All right, here we go, everybody. We are going to test out our sweet and sour chicken. Are you going for the rice first? Yeah. You're not even going to try the sweet and sour chicken? Good. <laughs> it's good rice? <laughs> Take a big old bite out of that chicken. Tell me what you think. Mm. Good. <laughs> Is it yummy? Mm-hmm. Mm, let me try. That is good, man. Mm -hmm. All right, so, sweet and sour sauce for our episode three on sauces. That means we got one more to go, huh? Mm -hmm. I know, I'm excited about it. So, I, I thought we had one more. We got one more after this. No, right? We gotta hurry up and get them done. So, what? Then we can move on to one of my school recipes, which is it's an egg folded, it's a circle, and it's an egg. You put cheese on it, and then you fold it like a taco. And what do we call that? An omelet. So, we're gonna make omelets? Mm -hmm. We'll make omelets. <laughs> Just All right. Cheese. Once again, thank you for watching the Neverland Kitchen, where you never, never grow, grow old and you always play with your food. Always play with your food. Thank you so much. If you like the show, please subscribe. We're going to be coming out with all kinds of videos. You can find us uh, on uh, Facebook with my personal page. Um, I think that's pretty much it, really. We don't do Twitter or, uh, or, or Instagram or anything like that, do we? No. We're pretty lazy. We just like to cook. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a good night. Thanks again, guys. Can I hit the button? Hit the button? Yeah. Hit that button. No, I